Welcome to this tutorial series on microservices. This is my third video. Uh, so in last week, two video I had an introduction on microservices and I created a DB service. So this is the architecture I am following. So in this video, uh, actually I am doing some changes changing in in this architecture, and I am going to do some addition in my DB service. So this is the DB service that I had created in, in my last video. So I did, uh, I did some. I have introduced some REST endpoints. So these were the REST endpoints, and now I am going to uh, do some more addition on this DB service. So as you see our architecture. So this was our last architecture. So I did some changes on this architecture. So I introduce a new customer service in this architecture. Uh, so customer service earlier there were no customer service. So so the idea is customer can pass the username. We will get the username from the customer to the order service, and order service will get the information uh, of the product from the product service. So from the customer we will pass the customer name and the product name. And then we will get the price from the product service. Product service will hit the DB service and it will get us the product price details. So by passing only customer uh, customer username and product name from the customer service to order service, we will get the information from the DB. So let's get started and for this purpose I am planning to introduce a new endpoint there I will pass the product name as a uh, dynamically so let's do it should be a get mapping we will pass a product name and so this function will return a list of string so that will be the price of products so, so this function so we need to pass the uh, path variable here So this should be product name. And it should be a string or product name. Okay. So so if we see in our product, we have a price also. So in my last video, this price was this column was not there. So I added this column, this new column. So now we have a price for products, and in product repository class, I added this function uh, find by name. So we will get the products list by name. So I will use this function here. So should return a list of products should be signed by name yeah this is okay so this will return the list of products by name and then create a new list of string price equal to new very list of string so now we have to iterate it uh,
so here we need to add the product twice okay okay so we can return the list from here okay so so that's about the product changes in the db service so i added the new column into my product that is price and then this function will return us the product list okay so now let's create a customer entity we also need a customer because uh, i have introduced a new service so for that purpose customer should present into the db service so all the operation that we will perform related to customer in other microservices that will be that get that will get the information from the db service so this customer we can give a name okay that is fine so we can give a username here and we don't need a price we can create a email column also that's it email ID is fine ok so let's create the setter and getter also ok so the same way we need to create the repository for customer so that should be a customer repository and this repository we need to ask the customer and here the we need to give the function find by username so this should turn as customer and this should be customer name okay that's it so same way we need to create the endpoints for customer also so let's create the endpoints that will be the customer resource here the global URI will be customer and this should be customer repository 3 and here we need to pass the customer to save the customer okay so here we have to pass the username by username we will get the customer uh, by by using customer username we will get the name of the customer so this would be username so here we have to use username so this should be customer by username and this should be list of customer 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 list and this should be customer name so here we need to pass the customer list this should be customer
to pass the customer name list and this should be customer and here we need to return the get mail can return it here okay that's it so this function we are passing the customer username and then we are returning the name of the customer so since we are because we are passing the if you see the architecture so we will pass the information we will from the customer side we will pass the customer username and then we will pass the product name and then we will get the information from the db service so for that purpose we created this function okay so let's test it quickly i think this is done the coding is done so we can test it now So the URI for product is db product slash save. So first we will save the records. Yes, just to quickly save it. Let's check the DB also. Yeah, product table is empty and application is started. Okay, so let's try to save a product first. So for this. We have to use save and this should be a post mapping the body the name we can give p1 and we have a price for products also Skew 10,000 here and we have a type for product also that we can give as a test okay Let's check if the records, yeah, the records are inserted. So now we can test the other URL, uh, rest endpoint. So if we pass the P1 here, it's a product name, so we should get the price, yeah. So both these two endpoints are working fine. Let's say, let's test the customer endpoint. So let's first save the customer and body we have a customer name so we can give a customer name and we have a user name the customer that we can give John user and we have email so Okay, let's try to test it. Yeah, it's uh, saving the records. So if you pass the customer username, then we should get this name. Should be a get request. Yeah, we are getting the day. John as a username. So both two endpoints for the customer and products are working fine. So our DB service is ready, and uh, now we will. Now I will continue creating the other microservices. So 
so db service is uh, fine so so in the next video i will be creating the product service and then i will create all these uh, four microservices first and then uh, after that i will integrate it with the eureka client because right now these are uh, these are the sample microservices so eureka server is not yet integrated so that i will integrate after all four microservices will done then i will integrate the jewel proxy then we can create a ui and then we can test the all endpoints from the ui itself so that's all for this uh, video so uh, if you like this video so click please click on like button on also there is a button subscribe button on bottom of this video so if you subscribe my channel then you can automatically get updates when i upload a new video so thanks for watching thanks for your time we'll see you in next video bye bye